you will hear something today that's, I think, very, very important for not only the Middle East, but for the world. In the spirit of peace and cooperation, both leaders also agreed that Bahrain will fully normalize its diplomatic relations with Israel. In addition to the UAE, a second Arab country will take part in a meeting at the White House this week to officially pen a normalization agreement with Israel. We've been working on this for many years, but we wouldn't come to this historic moment without the forceful leadership of President Trump and his ABLE team. They will exchange embassies and ambassadors, begin direct flights between their countries, and launch cooperation initiatives across a broad range of sectors, including health, business, technology, education, security, and agriculture. This is a truly historic day. Israelis largely welcoming the deal, while for Palestinians living in the West Bank, it isn't necessarily about peace. The Bahrain-American-Israeli uh, agreement to normalize uh, relations is now part of a bigger package in the region. It's not about peace. It's not about relations between countries. We are witnessing an alliance, a military alliance being created in the region. Maybe they want to call it an Arab-Israel-NATO. Ramallah has summoned its ambassador to return from Manama. In Gaza, officials also responded, calling the move a threat to the alliance of the Arab world. Palestinians also calling for a day of rage on September 15th, the day of the Washington signing. And meanwhile, Trump is hailing a new era for the Middle East. All of the many, many uh, elements of uh, fighting and hate, they seem to be evaporating. And we'll find out very soon, but they seem to be evaporating. So things are happening in the Middle East that nobody thought was even possible to think about, and that's what's going on right now. Nittany Manson, ILTV.